Good morning, everybody. It is Brittany Stang here, health and fitness coach, horse trainer, and entrepreneur. Okay, so this morning, I have got to tell you guys about wasting time and what information is going into your brain. Okay, so I want you to think about something. I want you to think about what is the one thing that you get up every day and you're going to do, but you don't feel like it really does anything for you. Like, I'm not talking about like, you know, relaxing or taking time to yourself or soaking in the bath. I'm talking about what is that mindless activity that literally gives you nothing. It doesn't like regenerate you. It doesn't energize you. It doesn't clear your brain. Matter of fact, sometimes it could stress you out. So like, what is that one thing that you do every day that doesn't give anything back to you. Okay, so for instance, um, Facebook scrolling. Okay, like we can get on social media and we can scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Like Snapchat, you guys remember, I got Snapchat back last month when I was in Dallas and it's cool and all, but I don't follow anybody uh, like, I have, like, five followers so that I don't just get on there and scroll because you guys know that thing is funny. Y'all know those little faces are hilarious, and you'll get on there and just be laughing your tail off and just watching it all, like, for an hour. You'll just scroll through Snapchat. But it's not giving you anything. Yes, you're connecting with your friends, but you guys call them. Call your friends if you want to talk to them. And don't get on Facebook and just scroll. Like... Good morning, Amber. Like, when you get on Facebook, don't just scroll, scroll, scroll. Like, go to the people's pages you care about. Visit with your family. You know, find those people. Like, unfollow all the people that, you know, you don't, like, hang out with on a regular basis or you don't find what they post to be interesting. Like, unfollow them. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time because, oh, my gosh. And the other one, y'all, is TV. I know y'all love me, and we're friends and everything, but TV kills us. <laughs> how many hours a day do you spend watching TV? I mean, seriously, how many hours a day? I spend, if I averaged it out a week, I would have to average it out a week because I don't watch TV every day. I would average it out a week and say that I spend two hours a week watching TV. And that would be like a movie with my husband one evening, I'm like a 30 minute show because I'm like addicted to two broke girls. I've been, I watched that a long time ago. Like when it first came out, I used to watch the seasons. So now I'll watch like one a week and they're like 30 minutes and it's like, boom. And then I'm done with my TV. I turn it off because otherwise we're sitting in this trance and we're, we're watching, we're watching TV. We're watching nothing really. It's not giving us any information and, and we're not learning anything from it. Unless this is your downtime, turn the TV off and do something. Like, get up and go on a hike. Go play with your kids at the park. Like, exercise. Clean your house. Clean out that cabinet you've been wanting to clean out. Like, just, just do more for you. Stop giving away your time. I hear more than anything. Good morning, Brittany. I hear more than anything that we don't have time for stuff. We don't have time for the things you need or you don't have time. I know you don't have time. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. You don't have time to do things that are important to you. Okay. Like I've got a pasture full of horses. My husband likes to ride every now and again. If he looks at me and says, let's go ride. I'm not going to say, well, I wanted to watch this movie. Of course not. It's important to spend time with him and do things interesting. So be that person. Be the person that says, when you see your husband sit down to the television, because I'm talking to you ladies, because this is just as much on us as it is on them. When you see that hubby sit down by the television, think of something quick, quick before he gets pulled in and say, you know what? Um, let's go to town and, and go to the park. They're supposed to be having something going on there. Drive up if there's something going on. Be like, oh, I must have been mistaken. Want to walk? <laughs> like, get out and go do something. Do something together. Go visit with your family. Call your grandparents up and say, hey, can we bring over a dish and eat dinner with you guys? Like, turn the TV off. Turn the TV off. Stop scrolling on social media. Spend your time doing things that are important to you. Because I talk to so many ladies a day that say they don't have time for their health. They don't have time for exercise. They don't have time for organization. But that's not true. If these things are important to you, then you will make time. You will. And the other thing is like the information we're filling our heads through. Okay? 
I'm not gonna lie. I used to like rap music, okay? I used to be able to like lift weights to it when I would go to the gym. I had like a remix. I can't now. I can't. Good morning, Lee. I cannot even listen to rap music anymore because it's annoying to me. Like, there's no information I'm getting there. I, I like country music is is rolling out of my head too. Like, I, there's very little country I listen to. Now. There's very little radio I listen to anymore because the songs are just full of crap. Like, where are the morals? Where where are relationships with those singers now? You know, like, what are those singers doing with their lives? Are these people we can look up to? You know, like. You, there's so, so many people out there now that just, they don't, they don't have any information to feed us and they're just, it's not healthy songs to listen to. So it's like, you got your Christian and you got like, some of your pop is okay. Some of your country is okay. But then there's the TV. Like what information are you getting from the TV? Are you watching National Geographic? Are you watching the History Channel? Or are you watching a soap opera? And I'm I'm guilty, like I said, but I'm going to watch 30 minutes max of a soap opera a week and I might watch one movie. So limit that. Limit that crap information you're filling your head through. Instead, have you ever heard of Audible? <laughs> it is a book. Good morning. Um, no, I didn't, but this is my phone. Isn't my phone awesome? Um, Lee asked me if I got a new camera, but this is my phone. Um, but limit, limit, like, that crap you put in your head and start adding in things like Audible, okay? Audible is an app you can get on your phone. It's through your Amazon account, and books are, like, 10 bucks, and then it's your book, and you can listen to it. You can pause it whenever you want to. You can go back 30 seconds if you missed something they said. You can skip chapters. You can do whatever you want to with it. You can listen to it over and over and over again. They don't care. They don't care how many times you listen to it. It's yours once you bought it. And you can save it in your iCloud. So you can listen to it on your laptop. You can plug it into your car when you're driving down the road. You can listen to it on your iPad. You can listen to it on your headset. Whatever floats your boat. But almost every book you can think of is on Audible. You have no excuse for not filling yourself full of wonderful information. I don't care if that is a book about being an inspiring wife, a book about how to raise kids, uh, listen to the Bible, listen to, you know, your chicken soup for the soul, whatever it is, fill yourself full of good information, information that fits your morals, information that fits your goals. I mean, I've got goals for myself. I want to be an entrepreneur. And thank you, Lee. She said, my camera is clear. I'm so glad. I'm glad my camera is clear for you guys. Um, but make sure to fill, you know, your life full of beautiful information and information that means something to you. Because why waste your time, you know, listening to crap music, reading, you know, there's nothing wrong with reading love story books. Don't like romantics, okay? Don't get me wrong. But if you're spending all your time reading those, then you've got enough time to split that in half and fill yourself full of information that's going to help you for your future. Raising kids. I don't have kids yet, okay? I, I don't. But I'm going to be reading some about them because I want to make sure that I'm fully prepared because I've always heard the moms go, they didn't tell me that. <laughs> I don't want to be that mom, even though it's going to happen. I'm still going to read up, right? I mean, it's like being a wife. I had a good friend give me a book that was about being a motivational and inspiring wife and following my beliefs, which is Christianity. So making sure that I follow my beliefs all the way through and I'm following my husband as much as he's following God. So, you know, it's it's just, it's you have to fill yourself full of awesome information. So, I have a call to action. I want you to post below what TV show you're going to stop watching or how much time less you're going to spend scrolling on social media or how much time less you're going to spend watching TV and how much more time a week can you schedule to watch things or listen to things or read things that are important to you that are going to fill your mind full of wonderful, wonderful information and possibly opportunities for your future? So just remember that. it's You're building yourself up for a great future. And only you can do that. Only you can educate yourself. So you got to put in the effort. That's all I'm saying. Also comment below, what is the other thing that you waste your time doing the most? And how much of that are you going to give up? I'm serious. I'm calling you guys to action. I want to see it. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and welcome to November. I'm in Tennessee and it's supposed to be like 82 today. What? Anyways, this is Brittany Stang, health and fitness coach, horse trainer and entrepreneur. Signing out. Bye guys.